I just make it like I'm kind of a finishing off comment about uh, my thoughts on this particular issue. I think that there's been a lot of good comments brought up. Every single one of them makes sense. You know, from the thoughts of uh, the aesthetics of the town, um, long-term planning, why change from R10 to R6, uh, traffic, and uh, all the different things. I haven't heard one particular point that um, that I think is invalid in the very least. But I do think that most of these issues have been answered uh, either in the proposal or in the change of the proposal from Monday to tonight and uh, and other comments made particularly. Um, you know, the, as far as the aesthetics go or how this place is going to look, a uh, very similar project or was done before I moved into Woodbridge subdivision over here of these grace. Uh, if you know the Chancey's property on Hagen Bridge, if you, I'd have to go around a couple of curves to get to it, uh, but it's in basically my neighborhood. And if you drew a straight line, it's probably less than 150 yards from my, my house. And uh, it's zoned similar to what this project is, and my house is my, and, and the mayor's neighborhood is zoned R10. Uh, and I, I don't see that it has caused a, a traffic issue, and it's right next to a school right next to a busy um, subdivision mine and uh, the traffic doesn't seem to be too doesn't seem to impede a lot of things and cause accidents and so forth and it hasn't hasn't bothered the property value. Um, so if this is a similar project and I have no reason to believe that it would be different uh, from other chancy properties that I've seen built, that it's gonna be done right and look good. And I think um, that they've come a little bit in the other in the people who have objection uh, tend to come a little bit to their side a little bit by uh, reducing the project from 30 to 21, uh, and what that's going to actually do is address some of the um, concerns that people had as far as green space. That term wasn't necessarily used by those standing up with objections, but you're going to spread those out a little bit more and have some landscaping and green. Green space. You're gonna have. What I'm saying is, you're gonna have a nice, nice looking little place. Uh, like I said before, I did go out there in Stanfield and drive from one side to the other, and that's where I came up with the numbers that I shared with everybody on on Monday night. I won't go with those specific all the way through, but it, it boils down to about one car every five minutes extra than what you have now going east, and one car every five minutes or so going going the opposite direction. Uh, if this were, if this came to fruition as it was originally planned with 60 units, now you could calculate that down to about a less less one third because that's about what they they reduced. It. Um, let's see what else. Um, that curve, that is a problem. That curve, it's a narrow street. It's a it's a bad curve, and you have to do something. But the city can do something about that as far as signage, um, maybe some minor repairs. Uh, stop sign, speed bumps, a, a number of things can be done to to help that extra one car every five minutes. But I'm not just talking about the one car every five minutes, but the traffic that's, that's there now, because that is an issue. You can't just say you can't talk about one car when hundreds of people already live out there now, and it is an issue. It needs to be addressed. Um, what else? I'd also like to make a point about Ms. Tomlinson's um, yeah, round tree. I'm sorry. Right. Still calling you Tomlinson. Yeah. Yeah, I still call my sister Davis. She's been married for 40 years. But um, I think that, I would say it this way I think um, the R6M is consistent with the Gateway Pines on one side of the trailer park and you have the trailer park and then another R6 and if this passes tonight. That being consistent with other uh, combinations throughout the city, one that I mentioned on Hagen Bridge Road next up to my particular neighborhood, um, really makes it a little bit clearer in mind why the Land Commission did approve it. 
uh, not just the ones who voted, but the staff, meaning Matt Martin uh, and his staff, who looked through this thoroughly and gave a recommendation, and they thought that was okay too. So for that, I'm I'm going to support this tonight. No, uh, uh, can I throw two cents in? Yes. Everyone has time to speak. In evaluating 